What's up, YouTube? What's up? Um, today, I got the chance to be with Kimmy. Kimmy was here doing an event called Unite, and I was hosting it. And today, we started talking about social media, patience, and... Using your voice. Yeah. So, we're going to talk a little bit about that, and... Kimmy, so what's your what's your opinion on social media? Since you're well, on social first media? of all, I did mention because I went up there and spoke a little. Mm -hmm. um, I mentioned social media can be a little draining sometimes, so. Mm -hmm. Why not, you know, find the time out of the day? I know yeah. all of us are on social media. If you're watching the YouTube, YouTube is already kind of part of social media. So mm -hmm. no, sometimes you run into, part. yeah, you run into things that are either negative or just things that kind of drain you out. 100%. So your energy kind of falls down and then you start feeling like these negative emotions. So mm -hmm. why not take some time out of your day to like just pause it and get off your phone, get off mm -hmm. social media, and just, you know, relax and Try to gain that positive energy again yeah. so you can go about your day. Boom. She hit it on the nose. And the, and the biggest thing when it comes to social media is knowing the intention behind using your social media. I talked about that in my videos before. If your intention is to like flaunt and be like, oh, I'm this or oh, I'm that, that could be draining. Or if your intention is to go on and find validation from your likes, from what you're doing, and you're getting validation from others, then therefore you're going to be draining your energy because where you're putting your, um, your thoughts, where you're putting your focus on isn't to something that empowers others and it doesn't really empower yourself. Exactly. Yeah? And find something that inspires you and just go about it too. Mm -hmm. And then obviously inspire others along the way. 100%. <laughs> so let's let's Patience. dive into the, to the second thing. Which Patience. Was... Patience. <laughs> okay, yeah. So There's not enough time people in the day, but it is okay. We to all have 24 it. hours. Yes, we do. do. But you gotta find some like little, I don't know. Do you meditate? I do. Okay. I do. Sound like you're questioning it. Do you really No, meditate? I do. I, okay. I meditate. I okay, do. Okay, cool. And yeah. I just try to, you know, take some time to just mm -hmm. inhale, exhale, and relax. Slow down. You know, there's a lot of things during your day that you're like, oh my gosh, I just want it. I want it now. I want it yeah. now. Like, you, you may be craving a certain type of food, mm -hmm. like pizza, mm -hmm. and, you know, you go get the pizza, yeah. and instead of waiting till you get home to eat the pizza, you're like, oh, I'm going to just take a bite right now or I'm gonna grab yeah. a little piece of mm -hmm. a slice of the pizza so when you yeah. get home mm -hmm. you don't even eat it comfortable no more yeah. because you're already either full or you just don't want pizza anymore so take some patience true. people mm. it's all about patience sometimes so you can go home and enjoy that slice of pizza with a uh, full glass a uh, full glass of coke or pepsi whatever you want to drink or water if you're trying to be healthy <laughs> yeah or water <laughs> yeah no that's true summer body summer here. yeah if you're, if you're trying to stay healthy you drink your water and lemon and then you can just enjoy it watching your favorite show and yeah. you know it's so, actually it, it will probably taste a lot better too so patience of like a lot of times one we're tempted to do stuff as soon as possible just because like our flesh our, our body controls a lot of things that we're doing versus our conscious mind we're doing a lot of things unconsciously versus consciously choosing so the reason why it's so hard for us to be patient is because we want stuff and our body is like oh like react 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 oh right when you wake up you check instagram right when you do like you do these things and you're realizing well i realize this is for me personally and it hopefully helps you is when you make conscious decisions to be like okay well i don't want this outside source to control my energy therefore i'm gonna choose when i want it yeah exactly patience. that's where patience comes in the picture and it helps you yeah patience is, patience is power it helps you rebuild your energy too now let's talk about voices use using your voice use your voice the use of your voice um well yeah you dive you into it you have to scream or be loud ah <laughs> I, I actually like to scream that's one of the things i do if i ever go to the top of the mountain i just like scream as loud because i mean it's energy but no you don't have to be loud you're it helps right. too it it's therapeutic your voice <laughs> is power your voice is important and use your voice wisely use mm. your voice for good obviously especially with everything that's going on right now in the world yeah if you have something to say make sure it's mm. spreading kindness spreading love because mm. we all need love right now yeah and your voice is power mm. like you said yeah. um anything any little thing that you may say can either help others mm. or bring them down and yeah, you 100%. don't want to bring them down because imagine if someone brings you down how would you feel well i mean the quote exactly is life and death is in the power of our words so it's whether you're speaking life into someone or you're speaking death into them you can empower them with your words or you can break them down um 
Since you are a radio personality, you work for Q97, um, which is awesome. I would, I would, in Fresno, I would, Central California. Yeah, I would say like, what's the one thing you've learned on how like for someone that's learning vocal training? Like, do you practice? Like, do you wake up and be like, la, 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 <laughs> no, actually, before you get on the station, I did learn that um, you know when I'm gonna go when I was when I was barely starting mm -hmm. um, going on air and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, my mentor told me this. He was like, whenever you're about to speak, it's, I, I have a habit to talk super fast mm -hmm. and sometimes mm -hmm. I couldn't get a point across mm -hmm. because I would like lose my thought so he was like take a deep breath patience patience and talk slow talk normal because your brain is processing what you're about to say next mm -hmm. so if you're talking super fast it's like okay shoot now I lost my thought <laughs> speed of the word exactly but so. I, I guess like because they say your your words and the way you speak is also connected to your body so usually faster speakers are faster thinkers they just think really fast True, but sometimes your body's not programmed like that or your brain's not programmed like that so mm -hmm. take the patience to think about what you're really going to say or while saying it it's going to come into mind like how we're talking right now we did not practice this at all I was practicing. I'm <laughs> you <joking>. were <laughs> well i wasn't but <laughs> i put in years of practice for this video now yeah but, you're right mm -hmm. yeah 100 and, and, and but that's just you know to practice on how to use your voice but mm. to really use your voice um make sure it's always to to help others oh, in some certain others. way to empower others yeah. exactly okay Cool. We're gonna leave. Love. I'm gonna leave you guys with one quote. I want you guys to remember this, and this is something that I live by. Um, life and death is in the power of your words. So, when you wake up in the morning, use your voice to empower yourself, because how you treat yourself is how you treat others. And one thing I do is when I'm in the mirror is I say, um, I love and accept myself. I'm beautiful. I'm abundant. I attract prosperity and peace, and I'm grateful for all the things in my life. Remember to use your voice to empower yourself, and then therefore you'll empower others. You'll spread it. Peace. One love. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. For more videos, leave a like. Um, comment below. Let Kimmy know what you think of her outfit. <laughs> it's hot. It is kind of like a sweater. So. No, but let I'm her. Trying to hang in there. Let Patience, her know. People. Let her know of just like what you guys saw. Give us feedback. Peace. More videos coming soon, and I will be doing a Q and A very soon. So just stay tuned. Peace out. A love and positivity. Mm. Mm. Peace.